Before we head over to the town, I guess we should check this guy out. <laughs> He's making quite a ruckus over here. Um, what is it? Do I need Draconid oil? I think it's Draconid? But I don't even know what it is right now. I have to get a little bit closer first. He's like settling down. Oh no, that's, that's Roach! What are you doing to Roach? No! <laughs> Roach, come down here! Cockatrice! Hey! Don't mess with my horse! Come here! Roach, are you okay? <laughs> Don't worry, Daddy's coming to rescue you now! <laughs> How do I get back up? Oh my god. If I try to hit that guy with a crossbow... Uh, is it flying now? Where is it? Oh! What are you doing to my horse? Not bad. Get out of here! You're not doing anything, actually. <laughs> You're bigger than I remember, though. Get out of here. Oh. It won't come down. Ooh. Have we killed a cockatrice before? Maybe like once or twice, but it's not a thing we see very commonly, huh? Cockatrice stomach. Okay. Roach! Are you okay? Oh, that was really scary, wasn't it? Oh, you poor thing. Come on. It's okay, we're gonna get out of here now. We'll forget about this. <laughs> what was it guarding, though? Was it just circling around here because it lives here? Hey there. I guess so. Because it's not actually guarding anything. That was scary. Scary, scary. To the town we go, then. Oh, it's right here? Is it a town in ruins or an actual town? Slow now. Fornhala? Fornhala. Mysterious abandoned village. Oh. Hmm. Abandoned? That's a mysteriously short description, too. This is mysterious. The fences are... Oh, well, let's check the houses first. Well, it seems like it's been abandoned for a while. Because of... Monsters? I mean, a cockatrice does live nearby, so it's not... The biggest of stretches to believe that they ran away because of monsters. Did anybody leave any clues for us here? No. Yeah, this place has been abandoned for quite a while, hasn't it? Because there's like stuff growing on the, the ground and whatever. It's not newly abandoned. What would cause people to abandon the village? Threat of monsters. That's basically all I can think of. Threat of bad humans. But if that's the case, there should be bandits or something living here. Okay, someone's been here. There's a fire and everything. Hmm. But maybe they didn't stay for too long. Yeah, there's really... I'm hoping to find a letter or something to explain some of this, any of this. But no. It's like everybody just got up and left. And there's no corpses here too, so it doesn't seem like there's bloodshed. It's like a ghost story. Okay. That's a little bit eerie. 
But I guess we'll just move on then. Who was that? Bunch of wolves again? There is a chest inside here? Or was it the door? Dwarven axe. Hmm, okay. Well, we do have a fast travel marker here now, so do I want to use it to go back to Caratrol first? Probably. Probably. We're here. Caratrol is all the way back up here. Oh. If I want to go to the blacksmith, there's a different fast travel point, I think. Seen the plans? Since we're here, let's go to let's go to the inn first then. Because if you get hit in the gut and those herrings get tangled in your entry, foreigner, watch your step. Was it back here? Stopper knives are good Tend for your own problems. Here. You've no respect for I heard Grey Inga augurs your son's future. Aye, threw his umbilical foreigner, in the water watch your step. and coiled into the shape of a snake. Do you know what that means? That he'll be quick as a viper. <sighs> or he'll slither out of every trap. <laughs> Nay, to something different. But I like those readings better. To your health, sweet sayers. I'm guessing it wasn't something good then. First, I heard... Wind blew you in again, eh? Need to get to Undvik. Ugh, another thrill seeker. Well then, listen close, lest you end in a watery grave. Sail out of port and head southwest. Watch for rocks protruding like pricks out of the water. You'll have to do some tricky tacking to get past them. Some of them shorter, just below the surface, so careful not to scrape right over them. Big breach your hull, you're done for, cause just a few minutes in that icy water makes a corpse. One time I remember... Stick to the point. <laughs> Uh, oh, fine. Watch for the currents, because they can drag you off course, dash against the rocks even. With a bit of luck, you'll land on the same beach where Jalmar landed. Okay, well, glad we got this information right before we got off the coast. Nice talking to you, but time I was on my way. So long. Fair winds to you. Although it wasn't really any information that we could <laughs> really make use of. Wind blew oh. You. oh, there were two guys here. Nice top. Fair wind. But they both point me to the same guy here. Yarvor and Tante. Aim to return and then I think day. the Ask innkeeper? The Dirty oof. Greetings, welcome. Heard Yalmar came here to gather men for his expedition. Aye, he did. Such spirit. Stormed in, swept the bowls off the table, jumped atop of it and cried, I'm sailing off to seek glory. Who's with me? Who wants to cut off that bloody giant's head? Guess that was enough to recruit a longboat full of men. Ah, they carried him out in their shoulders, yelling all the while, we'll win back the forge, string that giant up by his gizzards. Should have seen it, Witcher. Brought tears to my eyes. Sounds like a hot-blooded kind of guy. Yelmar seems popular around here. He is crack, son. Clever lad. Put together a fine crew. Hardy drinkers and warriors both. By the times I've had to piece together tables and benches after hosting them. The Unvik lads he took on. No spring minnows either. In fact, was a clan Tordorach man gave Yalmar the idea for the expedition. The shipwright, uh... What's his name? Viggy. That's him. Hope to earn a new by name, the Fearless. Till now they'd call him the Loon. They wanted to take back a forge? What's that about? Never heard the Unvickers forge the best armor in these isles. Their swordsmiths are nothing to sneeze at either. Cause we made our blades like the dwarves forge the seals. Soft layered core fitted with a hard steel coating. How do you know? That's a clan Todorok secret. Got some friends who are dwarves. Perhaps you do. But the ore from the mines of Undvik, why not even... Well, no one's got it. That's that. That dangerous? Yalmar must have had a plan. Tell me about it. Plans? Ha! 
<laughs> they didn't even know where to look for this giant. As I recall, Viggy wanted to cross a frozen lake and scale the mountains. They say the giant came from there, awoken by the frost that gripped the land around the tower. To the harsh winter. Suited that man-eater perfectly. It can <laughs> only get worse. Even the gods. Well. Mm -hmm. Another one don't believe Ragnarok is nigh. You'll see. All of yous. No, I believe it. The White Frost is coming. So long. Glad to be of service. If you need to know more about Undvik or the giant, ask Axel. Or that one over there. Or Anter. Okay. Multiple people here. We can ask. What do you want? I'm looking for people from Undvik. They're dead. I see now. I heard many survived. Stubborn, get your... What do you want to know? You there when the giant attacked? Aye, I was. One of the Jarl's personal guards. Uh, I failed him. Led no credence to what the priestesses said. That we'd be punished. For robbing the earth of iron. Forging it into blades that men kill one another with. That Freya would punish us. Mayhaps they spoke the truth. Jarl of Undvik. Tell me about his death. Jarl Harald Houndsnout. His whole crew died that night. Wilmar, Wilfred, and Wilhelm. I reached them too late. Saw the giant dash Wilmar against a rock. He fell right beside me. All his bones broke, wriggling like a salmon on the sand. Harald was dead by then. What? No, Jarl fought like a bear. Slicing and dodging and hollering, then slicing again. Couldn't save himself, though. Being able to kill something like that is a perfect sign that you're fit to be the next Jarl, right? How did you manage to survive? First I heard the giant growl to those flying sirens. Damn me if he weren't giving them orders. Under stress, men see all kinds of things. I know what I saw. Rush to help the Jarl. But one of the cunts sunk her talons in me, lifting me up. Tried to take me to their nest, pecked me apart, I reckon. But I broke loose of her grip, plummeted from quite a height, crashed hard, couldn't stand. Last thing I saw, swarm of sirens swooping down on the Jarl, thrashing round him. He yipped, he yelped, he screamed, he hollered. Then silence. The men escorting the women and the children to the ships took my unconscious flesh away and brought me to Ard Skellig. And you're just gonna stay here now? Isn't that like bad and dishonorable? I should go. Yeah. There's another one here? Ronte? Ask me the say. Craigie! Which one is it? Yeah, he mentioned a... He mentioned a Ronte, right? R-A-N-T-E? This guy... It's not this guy. What? No. Nice talk. Fairwind? Mean to make your daughter a priestess of Freya? Axel... Foreigner, watch your Tricky. step. <laughs> Earlier, I think in the cutscene, a chicken opened the door or something. The door just opened and nobody came in. It's like a scary movie. I don't see a uh, Arante. Are you in another room? No, this is this is Yennefer's place. Dirty oof. Mm. Over here? No, this is outside. Is there actually Careful someone else? To make your daughter a priestess of Freya. Greetings, what? Yeah, we can't ask about that anymore. What smells so delicious? Can I at least sell some stuff? You have a scorch card. Uh, I guess I'll take it. Doesn't really matter to me, but. Mandrake cordial. Didn't we need that for White Gull? Oh my God, that's a lot of money. 
Cherry Cordial? Mahakaman Spirit? Everything else should be fine. And then for here... Oh, I got a lot of crap again. We're gonna see a blacksmith later on though, so it'll be okay. Thanks for sparing a moment. Yeah, I don't see the person you're talking about, because it doesn't seem- Dirty oof. You're a captive! Just do your dancing! So judgmental. Huh? Hey there. I heard Grey Inga augurs your son's future. Yeah, maybe it was just ah, these two guys. I think so. Can you do me and it coiled into the shape of a snake. Do you know what that means? Mean that to make be. Your There's no one here. <sighs> That's fine. So now, um, we could just climb up the elevator, but I think a faster way might be to walk back to the fast travel <sighs> marker. <laughs> Because there's another fast travel marker right at the bridge upstairs, which is right next to where the armor and the blacksmith is. Right over here. And the question mark behind them, I don't know how to get to that. Last time we came here... Ooh, no, wrong way. Last time we came here, we only got to talk to the armorer, and I thought that you couldn't talk to the blacksmith, but it seems like it might have just been a glitch. It's hard to tell, because sometimes you see people named blacksmith and they don't talk to you. But sometimes, apparently, it's just a bug. terrible cross with you. You and the sorceress both. What'd you do to them? Oh, they know. They already know. Nighttime right now, so we have to make it daytime again. Hoping people go to work by 7 a.m. Is that too much to ask for? It actually might be. Maybe I'll go a little bit more? Oh, yeah, yeah, look. He has a talk option now. You've no respect for our customers. Interested in the weapon? There's a tail behind every item I've got. Battle axe looks pretty old. Even older than this keep, and yet still sharp. Once each year, at Sayavine, this axe speaks. It tells of blood spilt in battles, of burning villages and sunken boats. Might be a curse. And might be it drank too much human blood. Ooh. What certain is, no one wants it. Mm. What are you peddling? Can you have my crap first? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for taking all of this. And this too. Gildor sword as well. And the axe. And even the... Yeah, even this is okay. And what I'm looking for you from today it is... For you to take my blinders and saddlebags. <laughs> no, that's not the main thing we're here for. Oh, hey! These are better than what I have right now! What? I didn't even realize. Hold on. So long. Where did I get that? From a race, probably? Oh, look! 160! 160 weight! Dang! Yeah, now! Now our weight problems shouldn't be a problem anymore. Interested in That's awesome. And now I can sell it. Thank you, thank you. And now for the moment of truth. Can you make the swords I'm hoping you can make? Yes, feline silver sword. Uh, 23. Yes, this one, not the superior, enhanced. But I'm missing meteorite silver ingot, which I can buy. Yeah, so now I can make this. Perfect. Silver sword. Now I can make a steel sword. Which I'm also missing something for, but again, I can buy it. Dark steel ingot. Oh, but I can only buy one. Hmm. What should I do in that case then? Dark steel ingot? Should I check how to craft it? Uh... Dark... Dark steel ingot? Oh, there's a lot of stuff I can craft. I probably should have checked this before buying the stuff from his store earlier, but I'm too lazy. It's fine. 
Back to crafting here. Yeah, feline steel sword enhanced, now makeable. Perfect! We have the whole set now, right? Griffin... Oh, this is what I have you equipped right now. Yeah, feline silver sword enhanced. Feline steel sword enhanced. Enhanced feline armor. And... Enhanced feline trousers. Enhanced feline gauntlets. Enhanced feline boots. That's it. We got the whole set. Thankfully. Awesome. Awesome. So it seems like the rank we need for the blacksmith to make stuff for our level right now is journeyman. Not that I'm gonna keep track of that. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent. Mmm. Want to try the monster deck again? We could. Oh, I forgot to look at the perk again. Decoy, decoy, fork tail, plague maiden, griffin, grave hag, earth elemental, crone, crone, crone has muster. Geralt of Rivia, Karen, crone. That's good. Uh, do we need two decoys though? Maybe I'll take away... I'm not sure. This hand isn't really that good. Yeah, it's all just numbers and that's it. The crone's the best thing I got, and the Karen For morale boosting. I don't want to take away the Earth Elemental. It's my one precious siege card. Everything else... Yeah, ranged. Because we don't have a commander's horn here. And I also don't want to get locked in. In case if they have a weather card, that knocks out all of my close combat cards. So I guess I'll take away the griffin then. <laughs> wow, okay. Commander's horn. That's fine. We still have more than enough um, melee cards. Should be fine. Mm, should I use the crones on the first level? I can take back two cards later on. Maybe I'll use the non-close combat cards first. Save the commander's horn for next turn. Doubling ranged combat. Mine is this card, two cards, to exchange for one card you want from your deck. So if I don't like it, I can take away both these decoy cards. Or something else. Like this. Hmm. I wish I could look in my deck to see if there's a card I want. But right now, off the top of my head, I don't know what I would want, even if I discarded both the decoy cards. Let's see... The crone's gonna give me 18, right? 6 times 3. And then Kayren would be plus 1 for either close combat or ranged. And then Geralt's Arivia. Um. Do I want to pass? I'll... Maybe I'll decoy something back. Right now. You're using a Skoyatel deck, so you're not gonna have spies anyway, right? I'll just save my cards. Okay, you're passing now. Can I... Can I just take this? Can I take this round? If I don't pass? I would need 12. 12... It's okay. Maybe I'll decoy this one back too. Not that I really cared about it, but we don't have that many cards right now. So instead of discarding two to get one, maybe I'll just have all the stuff in my original hand. What are you doing?! What is it doing? Oh my gosh! That's gotta be a bug, right? Because that's really dumb. Oh, and I even get the ability to have this stay for the next round too. Oh, so that means that earlier I didn't have to decoy it, right? Because that would have stayed either way. Oh, new things to learn for each deck. Gotta keep it in mind. Mmm. Just in case if they have Scorch, I'm not gonna put down the Crones just yet. But actually, all of my cards are pretty... Yeah... They're all in the close combat row. 
It's gonna be hard. Okay, five, 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 six. If I put down the crone, I run into the danger of all my crones being scorched away, plus the elemental. I don't think I want that to happen at all, so maybe I'll just forego it for now. Hang on to it for a little bit more. So synthesis. Okay. This turn, it's the last round. Everyone's just gonna go all out, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so right now, if they use Scorch, they will get my card. Oh! Okay, nice. But... It should be okay for us, right? <laughs> will it be okay? I don't know. I don't know. 32, 26. I have not put down the crones yet. Oh, he's got a commander's horn. Oh, this is looking pretty bad for me, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I think I want to put this one in close combat. Healer. Oh my god. We're done for, aren't we? Oh! I only have two crones. I don't have three crones. I didn't... I didn't know that. Oh, I think we're done today then. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Ah, oh, I lost. Yeah, I don't have a very good grasp on the, the monster deck yet. Especially because in the first round, I made the mistake of decoying the last card back when I could have just left it on the field. That's okay. Learning experience. What's this? I will come back for you some other time. Friends, we show heart. Foes, we show our hearts. and forge it again. A sword for cotton, not looking pretty. Not gonna look to get revenge today. Maybe some other time. Quite like a witcher. I came here for the feline stuff, and I have it crafted now, so that's fine. What? I don't know how to get here though, because it's so. What? There's a freaking house here, too. Oh my god. How do we get to those places? It just seems so far off. Oh, there's a scavenger hunt there, too. And another one. Oh, this is level 20. Maybe we missed out on the level to use it already. That's fine. Yeah, okay. Alright, well, we should go back to... Fornhala then? Fornhala? And then go here? And then go here? To the coast, maybe? Where can I find a boat? Either at Holmsteen's port, or Erinborn. Ah, oh, it's kind of annoying. Both of them are pretty far away. Step. Well, that's okay. It's not like we can't swim. It should be fine. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna follow the main path and go over there then. And at that spot, we should be finding the boots upgrade diagram. Oh, we're going up the mountain again. Is that gonna be okay? Oh, eh, so far so good. Slow down, Roach. You want to walk? <laughs> it might be safer to be on Roach on these slope sides, huh? Because she can't just lie down. She stops sometimes. It's a bit safer. And drag a warrior, but I don't need to kill them because there's nothing there. <laughs> what we're looking for is really here. Was that a nest that we just came across? No! No, it wasn't. Well, I'm gonna ignore it then. And we'll check this cave out. What? What? 
eat you. Goulash of Necrosis. Much onion. Mm. Onion rot he must be. <laughs> Omen scared. Plug bunghole with finger. Omen no. Supper no. Uh. Did I stumble upon something private here? <laughs> Hello? I don't have to kill you guys, right? Please say no. Oh no! Oh! Whoa, their names are so modern and custom. What the heck? <laughs> they were farting just now, weren't they? <laughs> what did I walk in on here? Oh, wait. Oh, is this a reference to Jesse Cox and Dodger and Angry Joe, I guess? Hold on, I gotta concentrate here first because three trolls at once at my level is actually a little bit difficult. <laughs> They're still farting! Old Groid oil, right? Ow! Wait, there's too many of you. <laughs> Not bad. Damn. Whoa! Jesse is tough. My God. I think Dodger is almost dead though. Can we get her? No, not at all. They're all really strong still. What the heck? Yup. Ooh. All three of them trying to throw rocks at me at the same time. Lord. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Stop! <laughs> Hold on here. Oh, I really got it. Mm. I really gotta get at least one of them, but they are so tough. They are so tough. In fact, they're so tough, I think I need to take that... What's it called? White Rafford's decoction? I know we have it, but I want to make sure of the description first before I take it. That's why I'm not using the other menu here. This one? Yes. Uh, you know, it's probably a good idea for me to put this one here, actually. And I'll use one right now, too, if that's okay. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's not okay. Dodger, die! Oh my god! Like. Dodger needs to die. All of you need to die. <laughs> they keep turtling every so often, which makes this really difficult. Oh, there we go. Uh. I'm kind of intoxicated right now because I took so many potions. Oh! Oh, I used all of my white reference decoctions. My god. <laughs> what was this? They were like huddling around the campfire farting? I'm pretty sure that's a reference, right? Maybe if I saw those names individually, I wouldn't think much of it. But it was Jesse, Dodger, and Joe all in a row. <laughs> Actually kind of surprised that TB wouldn't be here instead of Joe, but okay. <laughs> Cute little reference.
And that's it. I'm looking for the diagrams though. Is it in here? Have we gotten it yet? I don't think so. Oh lord, look! They have a, a pot. Cooking people. They were cooking people here. Where? I see chests here and I've looted them, but it's not the chest I'm looking for. Oh, there's more there. That's probably the one. No. This one? Ursine boots. There we go. And that's that. Oh, I could have used bombs earlier too, huh? A little cave here. That really took everything I had though, and I nearly died so many times. Yeesh. But that should be done now. I'm not sure what level the Ursine stuff we're looking for is right now. But I'm sure it'll come into handy someday. Hey Roach, I'm back outside. And I probably need to meditate a little bit because I used all of my potions. One troll is already hard enough, but it was three at the same time. And they always do the thing where they huddle up and stop all attacks. Crazy. Now what's here? Something up here or... Oh, I can't! Oh, no! Geralt! Geralt! Can I not get that one? It might be a little bit too steep for me to climb. Maybe with Roach? Giddy up. Around this way? Uh, can I make it? Where's the... Slow now. Whoa. Oh, it's a place of power. Medallion's humming. Place of power. It's gotta be. That was a lucky jump. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. Okay, thank you. Axie sign intensity increased. If only I used Axie earlier, huh? Whoops. Good thing there wasn't much else here. And after that's done, um, I guess we should go to home scene instead. Oh, but there's a bear school thing here too. Level 25? That's really soon. I should be trying to get that too. If we come here, and then to the port, we can get a boat. And then we can drive all the way up there, maybe? Yeah? That's uh, the plan for now, anyway. So I guess we'll just slide all the way down. Oh my god. Anything going on there besides Andre- Oh, these are people! Kill two of their friends with the explosion. Nice, nice. Explosions are where it's at, huh? I think we had a bomb for that. Explosions? Maybe I'll look into using that a little bit more, huh? Dragon's Dream, was it? We have Grape Shot right now and Northern Wind. And if we want more... We can always come to this menu, right? Dragon's Dream? Was that what I was looking for? No, there's something else here. Hey, hey! This one's got bollocks! Onward! Devil's blood piece fast! Do you guys have a... Explosive barrel here? No? Ow! Ow! <laughs> Holy gosh! Pathetic. 
Gotta be careful. Fucking die already! That's what I want to say to you! I can't wait till I get Whirl so that I can hit more of these guys at once. Making a meal here. Oh, I can't loot them. They have no loot. Okay. Pearls. Not much else. I can't loot something here? Oh. Oh, the rabbit somehow died during all of that. Maybe I got Ignite or something. I'm not sure. Sorry! It's probably my fault. There's a merchant behind us, but we don't really need him, so I'm just gonna head right for Homestein's port then. Oh, at Homestein's port? There's another blacksmith too, right? Maybe we could have just used him instead of going back to Caratrold. But Caratrold had the, the inn with the information about Yalmar, which is what we... Well, it wasn't really crucial, but it was nice to have it. Ew. Here we go. You ain't from Nilfgaard, are you? <laughs> Congratulations on a job well done. Ah, we gave it our best. Just one thing left. The figurehead for the proud. Something real fitting. What's there to think on? Carve it to look like Misa Grida. She'll scare off Krakens and put storms to shame with a fury on her brow. <laughs> I think the last time we came, it was during nighttime, so we didn't really see this. People were having fun and stuff last time. <laughs> you looking to buy something? Well, you're in for a surprise. We're just as well stocked as any land-bound shop in Novograd. Okay. Come on, let's do some trading. You have... Heroes of Skellige, Modolf. Heroes of Skellige, Otkel. Mmm, paying for knowledge. Paying for knowledge. Should we do that? Maybe we'll come across these books eventually, but maybe they're rare books too. Maybe the only way to get them is to buy it here. Uh, I'll buy one. Do we want to learn about Oddkill or Moodolf? Let's go with Oddkill. By the way, I think I'm getting to the point where I have too many items in my inventory because it's starting to lag a little bit whenever it switches screens. So I really think I, um, yeah, maybe I gotta think about selling these books, especially the ones that we have 12 copies of. <laughs> oh my god. If I want to sell the books, I gotta go back to the bookshop in Novigrad, right? I don't want to part with it though, all my precious books. <laughs> and the skulls, take the skulls. I want the elf head though, but not the caskets. Shell. Yeah, I have all of this. Whatever. Good lord. 82 vials. <laughs> Inkwells. Cups. It's too much crap. Way too much. Ornate sword? Eh. Whatever. I'll keep some silverware, though, so that we can make some silver if we need to. Although I really don't think we dismantle that often anyway. The voodoo dolls, old bear hide, okay, sure. Valuable fossil, valuable fossil worth two crowns, <laughs> okay. Not gonna make the mistake of selling you the book again. So long. What happened just now? There was a, a quest sound. I'm not sure. The book that we bought Did we get a thing for it, maybe? Oddkel. Legends state that when Oddkel, son of Hemdal, was sailing to Hindersfjall, a terrible storm broke. Oddkel called for his father's help, but his father could not hear, for powerful thunder drowned out Oddkel's voice. In despair, Oddkel began yelling for anyone who heard his cries to come to his aid. In reply, Freya descended and gave Oddkel a set of pipes. 
When the hero blew on them, the waves calmed, the storm passed, and Odkel could safely reach the shore. When Hemdel learned of the help the goddess had given Odkel, he ordered them to raise a temple to her on the isle. Ever since that day, Skelligers have worshipped Freya, and the women of Odkel's line have often chosen to become her priestesses. Oh! Oh, it's like Freya's worship origin stories. Oh, huh. interesting. Odkel, son of Hemdel. Hmm.